In this video, we are going to go over adding the port cross-references to a port on the schematic document. By doing this, we can easily navigate between schematic document ports indicated by either the name or the page number. As you can see here, we have a simple three document project already connected with ports. To begin, we need to first and foremost set the port cross reference style via the preferences window. To do this, just go ahead and click on the gear icon in the top right. From here, it will open up the preferences window. We would then need to go to schematic and then general. You will then notice the port cross references on the right hand side. You will notice that it is currently set to name for the sheet style and zone for the location style. We will leave this as it is for the time being and we will apply it to our example project. So go ahead and click OK. Now that we have the settings in place, we would then need to establish a connection between the ports. To do this, we would need to compile the project. You could do this by right clicking the project and then selecting compile. You could also compile the project via the projects tab at the top and then clicking on compile. After we have compiled the project, we could then run the command to add the port cross reference. To do this, go ahead and select on reports port cross-reference, and then add to project. You should then see the references added to the port. You'll notice that the references is using the document name, 05B, and the zone as 2B in brackets. We could then use this reference to trace this port back to its connecting port. To do this, we'll use the document name, in this case 05B. We'll go ahead and select on 05B to look for port AB. And as you can see here, this is the port is connected to. Let's now try changing the sheet style to use the sheet number. To do this, we would need to first remove the current port cross references on the project. We would then go back to reports, port cross reference, and then remove from project. This will give us a clean slate. From here, let's go ahead and select on the preferences that we previously looked at, and then go back to schematic, general and take a look at the port cross references. We could then change the sheet style from name to number and then let's go ahead and disable location style as this is no longer needed. We'll go ahead and click OK. After changing the settings, we will need to indicate what page number each document is. To do this, just go ahead and click on Tools, Annotation, and then Number Schematic Sheets. You'll be presented with this panel. From here, you'll notice that each of the sheet number and document number is currently unfilled. Let's go ahead and select on Auto. And then Auto, Document Name, and Update Sheet Count. You'll notice that it's currently going in order, one, two, three. And then the sheet total is three. Go ahead and click OK. Now that we have the documents properly numbered, we would then need to recompile the project by right-clicking the project and compile, and then let's go ahead and re-add the port cross-references. We'll go ahead and select on reports at the top, port cross-reference, and then add to project. You'll then notice that each of the ports now have a number instead of the name. You can then track these ports based off of the document number. In this case, we'll go back to page 1, and you'll notice that port AB is linked to page 2. This concludes our video on how to add port cross references to your project. Thank you.